The messages left close to the entrance of Cross House Hospital give a glimpse of the shock and heartbreak felt by family, friends and colleagues. One hailed Emma Robertson as their NHS angel. Relatives paying tribute on social media to the mother and her daughter, Nicole Anderson, say life will never be the same without them. Nicole's fiancé said she will miss her beautiful smile. In the grounds of the hospital, one car park remains sealed off, where 39-year-old Emma was attacked at around quarter to eight last night. As staff tried in vain to save their colleague, the hospital was locked down. Ambulances were diverted, while patients and staff in accident and emergency witnessed events unfold. My mum was in hospital. She was took in yesterday with a heart attack, and she was telling me that she could see them. People running past, nurses and doctors, and she knew something was wrong but didn't know what. And when I heard that there, I thought, my goodness, poor family. It was just totally shocking. It's, it's devastating to hear things like that happening anywhere, but when it happens, like, on your doorstep, it's, it's horrible. My sister was in the building when it was happening, and I was not only scared for her, I was scared for everyone in the vicinity when it was happening. Kilmarnock's quite, like, a nice town, um, so it was, like, really shocking when I heard about it. 20 minutes after Emma was attacked, her daughter, Nicole Anderson, was stabbed in Portland Street, two miles away. The 24-year-old was taken to Crosshouse Hospital for treatment, but didn't survive her injuries. At 8.30, 40-year-old Stephen Robertson, believed to be Emma's estranged partner, died in a road crash on the outskirts of Kilmarnock. The wreckage of the car was being examined by forensic teams this afternoon. Police Scotland say they're not looking for anyone else as part of this investigation and there is no wider threat to the community. The First Minister said her thoughts are with the bereaved and with everyone at Crosshouse Hospital already dealing with the tough circumstances of Covid. Tragedy like this would be impossible to understand at any time. But after the events of the past year, it is particularly shocking that such an incident has taken place at an NHS hospital. We know how rare it is. We know that it's isolated and the police have confirmed that's an end to this incident. My sympathies go to the family. It's really, really difficult circumstances. I can't imagine having to come to terms with what's happened, so my heart goes out to them. NHS Ayrshire and Arran say extra support will be available for staff and has praised the professionalism of those who responded to this emergency on their doorstep. Sharon Frew, STV News.